My name is Mark Momen Hall of Famer PD Nice, and I'm here to review the SummerSlam card. And I decided I'm going to throw in the SmackDown card too, but it's only going to say SummerSlam and the title. So you got Alicia, Alicia, geez, Aaliyah versus Lacey Evans. And I think you're just going to put over Lacey Evans, Evans' story. She could be somebody to live more give faces down the road. You got Sheamus and Drew McIntyre, which means I screwed up the order of this, but the way I wanted to do it, but who cares? This is going to be the number one contenders match. Winner takes on uh, the WWE Undisputed Champion, or whatever the hell they're calling it, at Clash of Champions. Drew McIntyre wins. And uh, I would hope he win this title, but uh, I know they're not going to put down Roman. This is a match I meant to put before, but who cares? Like Raiders and the new heels, they'll get the win. I really don't expect New Day to pull out a win. If they do, it would be an upset win, like a quick roll-up or something. But I think the Vikings are going to win. The Viking Raiders, that is. And now we get into the Summer Slam card, I believe. Oh, no, uh, we would have, but oh, you see. This is not off the Summer Slam card, but I still wanted to review it because it seems like it should come back. Not that it should come back, but we didn't see it eventually, like on Raw or something. Seth Rollins was upset that he's not on the card, so I don't know. If Seth Rollins has a match, I'm thinking it's against Braun Breaker, to be honest, and Braun would win. Or, like, if you have Bray Wyatt back or somebody, because Triple H is in charge. But. When these two actually have their match, I'm going to go with Riddle. Logan Paul versus The Miz. What can I say about this match? Like, no, really. Tell me what to say about this match because if I'm doing a prediction, Logan Paul has to win this. And this is a prediction card. I mean, I don't know where you go from there because I don't know if he's signed full time or he's like, an, uh, like a celebrity deal, but, you know, I still think Paul. I keep on saying Paul Logan. His name is Logan Paul. Ah, uh, that's a big thing. I never get his name right. That's how much I care about this match. Let's move on. This is my 50-50 match. And here's why. Because they're going to the UK. So Becky could end up the, uh, as a champion being the Ireland representation. But Bianca, I feel, needs the win. And I, I just can't see Bianca losing. I think they should try to do this in like 25 seconds. And then wrap it up. And, uh, so I'm going to go Becky, uh, excuse me, I'm going to go, my prediction is Bianca Belair, I'm not going Becky. I'm going Bianca, but I can totally see Becky walking out of here as champion. We got the special guest referee, Jeff Jarrett, a WWE Hall of Famer, and part of the Spark Out Moment Hall of Fame under the Fuck That Guy Club. We got the Street Profits versus the Usos. So here's what I would do. If I was booking this, I would have the Street Profits win. But they only win the Raw Tag Team titles, and the Usos go to, uh, uh, what, what's the thing? It's November 15th, and they become the longest reigning Tag Team Champions. But here's my, here's my, I'm gonna say two things here. If it's just for one title, which doesn't seem to be, I'm going Street Profits. If it's for both titles, I have to go for the Usos. And I just realized there's a match missing on this card. So I'm gonna talk about it now. Uh, I did not happen to see the, uh, what you call it? Uh, this little picture thing for Bobby uh, Lashley and Theory. I'm going to talk about that, I guess, in the main event, I guess, because I didn't see the picture. So, we'll catch you there. But the next match, Pat McAfee versus Happy Corbin. First off, Happy Corbin, with Triple H around, better be going. Back to Aaron Corbin. But Pat McAfee, I think he's going to win. And I, I, I just don't know. I feel like he has to, and I don't know where this leads. Are we going to get Gunther versus Pat McAfee? Uh, I don't know. Pat McAfee wins. Let's move on. The only thing that's interesting about this match is if Edge comes back and if one of the Mysterios turns, but seeing how that's not likely, I'm just going to go with Mysterios and hope Edge comes back to cost them, but probably not. If Edge does come back to cost them, then that's my 50-50. Another 50 50, but I don't think so. I'm more 75 25 on this one. It's the way the edge, whoever edge decides to hit, is going to be the one that wins. So, this is the other one I didn't have a picture for. So, um, let me talk about both matches at once. So, let's go Theory and Lashley 
there he is losing 100 percent and then i'm going to talk about that in a second the live in ronda this is another 50 50 on me because i can see ronda being the crap out of live i think live should have that upset moment i also feel charlotte flair is returning maybe that's a distraction but i'm going to go live morgan as my predictions that now we're at the main event robin and brock last man standing I have two ideas for this match. One, they do what Batista and Erdinger did, where Batista spears him off and a, like a bunch of pillars fall down, where they're equal to cash in Money in the Bank to win. And I really say he wins the WWE title, but again, I'm not booking this for WWE. I'm only booking it here. And then if it just goes down one on one, I'm going to just go with Roman. I don't see Brock. I actually think this might be the last time we see Brock in the WWE. So, those are my predictions. Oof. And I have nothing more to say here for this SummerSlam card, so uh, follow me at Twitter at P nice WWE. Have a nice Disability Pride Month. I'm autistic, so I can say that. And stay nice for disability rights, and I'll be back with another video one of these days. Till then. This has been another video, and I'm saying stay nice for disability rights.